finding the radius. Let's suppose that I've been given a power series. Perhaps it's the power series, the sum, n goes from 1 to infinity of x to the n divided by n squared. How do I find the radius of convergence? Well, let's try the ratio test. So I'm going to look for absolute convergence. So I'm really trying to figure out for which values of x that series converges. And I'm going to look at the ratio of the n plus first term over the nth term. So the n plus first term is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 squared. And I'm going to divide that by the nth term, which is exactly what I've got there, x to the n over n squared. And now I can simplify uh, that fraction a bit. So this is the limit n goes to infinity of, well, I've got x to the n plus 1 over x to the n. So I'll just write absolute value of x. And then I've got n plus 1 squared, but it's in the denominator of the numerator. And I've got n squared in the denominator of the denominator. So I can write this as n squared over n plus 1 squared. Now, what is this limit? Well, when n is very large, this quantity here is very close to 1. And this x doesn't depend on n at all. So this limit is just the absolute value of x. And this is the ratio between the n plus first and the nth term. So to get absolute convergence of this series, it's enough for the ratio test that this be less than 1. But I also know something about when the series diverges. By the ratio test, when this limit, which is the absolute value of x, when that limit is bigger than 1, then this series diverges. So putting it all together, What's the radius of convergence? So to think about that, let's draw a diagram. Here I've got a number line. And what I know is that when the absolute value of x is less than 1, then the series converges absolutely. So that tells me that the series converges when x is between minus 1 and 1. I also know that when the absolute value of x is bigger than 1, then the series diverges. That tells me the series diverges when x is bigger than 1, and the series diverges when x is less than minus 1. So it converges in between here, diverges to the uh, right of this, and diverges to the left of this. Now admittedly, I haven't thought about what happens at x equals minus 1 and x equals 1. But I don't need to if all I care about is knowing the radius of convergence. Right? I'm thinking about this interval being where the power series converges. And maybe it converges at minus 1, maybe it converges at 1. But what's the radius of this interval? Well, this is an interval centered at 0, and its radius is 1. And that tells me that the radius of convergence is 1. 